Hello, my name is Ezekiel. Hope you are doing well today. In this video, I will be talking about Dim Solo mode in Cakewalk. Dim Solo is one of the new features added during this development of new Cakewalk Sooner, which I'm going to be showing you. Alright, you may have been saying in your heart that you're already familiar with using Solo, but also you're already familiar with the instructions saying that you shouldn't mix in Solo, which is very right because when you mix in Solo, you tend to lose track, you tend to lose your focus because by the time you are eking a particular vocal or instrument or whatever you are working on, on in solo mode, you tend to overdo or probably you are eking applying vibration or applying compression instead of you to listen to, to treat that particular vocal or that instrument with the rest of the mix. And after deactivating solo button, you realize that it doesn't sound right. This is where and why dim solo mode is very, very vital and uh, useful in the mix nowadays. Dim solo mode function in Cakewalk Sona is not like the regular DAW that we put it through many routing to create VCA or create tracks or do this and that to get used and you delete the track after doing that. But in this one, you'll be able to use dim solo mode like a pro, like every other professional mixing console out there. Now I will be walking you through that I have a song there which I'm going to be using to do this demonstration. But before we do that now, if you're new to this channel, please I want you to subscribe, click on the subscription button and all notification buttons so you'll be aware whenever I upload any videos like this. And if you enjoy and you like the content that I'm creating, please thumb up for me for YouTube a glory dim. Now let's go into this demonstration so you can see how a dim solo works and the settings which you may need to do. So let's see that now. just solo the vocal but I couldn't hear the rest of the instrument in the mix. Now I'm going to take you through the settings in Kickwalk Sona which allows me to set the parameters of the loudness of my dim solo function. Alright so either you go to preference or you right click on the split over there then you go to driver settings. Now dim solo gain. I think this is the default setting already also in the previous Cakewalk version. And so now what I'm going to be showing you, you may decide to use negative 6 dB or negative 12. Depends on how loud you want the rest of the instrument to sound when you activate dim solo. I will go to negative 6 first. We will listen to the vocal that I'm going to solo and you will hear the rest of the instruments, how loud they are with the solo track. I'll play the song down, I'll solo the instrument that I desired, then I will activate the dim solo button. You listen to the rest of the instrument with the guitar that I solo, that they sound more closer to the guitar. If you really decide that you want to hear that instrument more louder, you want to work in solo mode because you want to listen to it very well. If you set it to negative six and you're okay with the level of the loudness, then you are good to go. But now I'm going to be changing the setting to negative 12. Now you also listen to negative 12, how loud the rest of the music sound when I solo the guitar. Now let's check the negative 48, how loud it's going to be because this time around 
it's going to sound far behind the guitar that I'm soloing. That's dim solo mode that I've been working on. And now it depends on how loud do you want the rest of the instrument to be when you solo the instrument or the vocal. Six and negative 12, because I still want to hear the rest of the instrument very well to be more audible while I'm being in solo mode. This will not make me to lose my focus or to get lost during the mix when I'm mixing in solo mode. Finally, let us go into that, let's see, negative 12, because I think that's still better for me. Yeah, that's still better for me to work with, but sometimes it depends. If I truly want to do anything on the bass guitar, I don't have the cause to fear or to be afraid that I'm going to get lost because I'm still hearing the rest of the mix in the background and still loud enough for me to do whatever I want to do on my bass guitar because I'm monitoring what I'm doing with the rest of the instrument that I'm listening to. Now you can mix in solo, being in dim solo mode, now you can mix conveniently using this function without having any fear that you're going to get lost. Please drop your comment below. Let's know your opinion. Let's know how Dim Solo is going to be like for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.